today. <laughs> All right, so I guess I'm gonna take this however you wanna take this, but BFH is big fucking hammer. Okay, so that's either someone's nut or someone actually has a hammer. Okay, so let's see. Tell me uh, what this uh, Sagittarius possibly. I mean, this could literally be like ancestors bringing down some shit either. But this, this is, uh, yeah, this is, this could be ancestors bringing down a big fucking hammer on people. They could have sent somebody to bring that shit down as well. Locate. <laughs> Hold on, th th there could be ancestors are going to send somebody that's actually going to be an actual friend to you. Single. Somebody may want to know if you're single. As soon as you blink your eye and turn your head to the left, there'll be a bear standing there. Maybe, maybe you're tired of like feeling like people showing loyalty to people. And, and oh, I just heard the crows. Yeah, I, I feel like for somebody, it's, um, like, just well, chill. Cause I feel like the, the universe or your ancestors are going to send somebody to you that's actually loyal, all right? I don't know if this is a relationship or a partnership or corporate. It may be somebody from a, a corporate setting or somebody that's in that, that line of work, right? Yeah, this is a good person. I mean, it, it could be multiple... But I feel in an hour, there's going to be somebody. I mean, yeah, victory and success. Spiritual union. This could definitely be somebody legit. Oh, I want it my whole life. Maybe you've been saying, like, can I just get one loyal person in my life? Like somebody that actually can work with me and not against me. That's what I feel like. And the ancestors are like, cool. That all you had to do was say so, bitch. Oh, there could also be somebody from a corporate setting coming. And this, I want to say this publicly. Uh, hotels are not allowed to have well water. It's illegal for hotels to use well water. If there are men, especially getting diagnosed with testicular cancer specifically in a hotel and you stay there, it's because the water has rust in it. The inside of the well rusts and it, now it's flowing through the water. So you, you will have loss, a lawsuit. Somebody from corporate may wind up showing up. And if they announce they're from corporate and some of you wind up being in the same room, I'm super excited you need to say something about this. You need to get a lawyer because that's the reason. Do some research and find out about rust and metals, like heavy metals. Ketamine. Damn. I mean, shit, that just changed it. Born into bad karma. I don't know. Maybe this is like one of them things where, you know, I thought you were going to be loyal. I mean, goddamn, it's like I can never get a positive message with loyal people. I try. I do. There, I mean, somebody could be a Sagittarius and they're going to come and act like they want to be a friend to somebody. Somebody's name could be Buck, Freeman, Harrison, Harry, Frank, Fred, Buck. Ancestors. I don't know. Maybe somebody needs to just say, like, can you please send me somebody that's loyal? You know what I mean? But there's going to be people now that are going to try and act like they want to be your friend because they know that you're destined for, for greatness here. So they're going to want a spiritual union doesn't have to be a relationship. I mean, this could just be somebody who's going to act like they're going to talk about ancestors or they're going to talk about maybe twin flames or they're going to talk about soul connections or something like that. So just be careful of somebody wanting to do that. And then like, I don't know, putting ketamine in your drink for somebody in particular. Hold on. Crowd. There could be a crowd of people. Uh, I think we're at the point in our relationship that we can give each other cool nicknames. Are you already in a relationship with someone? Who is this for? Tell me who this is for. 
Monica. Oh I mean, if it if it's if it's a female doing this to a male, it could be, it could be Monica Aaron, but it could be Omar Aaron, Moses, Aaron, Angelica, Anna, Pete, Peters. I mean, I guess be careful of drinking anything with this person, man, because somebody's gonna act like they're from corporate, possibly as well. They could they could act like they're successful. Uh, yeah, whoever it is is going to be somewhere in about an hour. So be be careful about this. Old An old ass person. Yeah, I was going to say six and two. Somebody could be 62 years old. So so they're going to be an older person. They're going to act like they're they're a friend, that they're a loyal person. I'm telling you, but that this could, this they're going to say, oh, let's drink or this, that, or the other. You know, it's like, why are you coming? Why, even if you were connected to corporate, what are you doing that, doing that? You know what I mean? Or Jason, somebody may not have realized there was going to be an audience or a crowd when this comes out. Give me more about this. Old ass pensioner. What is this? Guilty or not guilty? Yeah. There could be somebody named Jason behind it. It sounds like it was going to be a sacrifice for somebody. Mm, that's what it is. There, th this could even be that somebody is, well, they're not connected to corporate because what I've been exposing is these reptilians um, that target corporate settings and they get rid of the entire board and they take over so this could be that or somebody's going to wind up saying that they're part of a corporate setting Riley um, and and they're really not all right so I don't know if Riley was going to be the sacrifice card exchange when when the exchange thing it reminds me of like replacement like these people were replaced so I don't I don't know how that works if, if they're the same if they're the people that you knew and they shape shift into them. I mean, I guess they do because they do it with rappers and they do it with um, politicians and stuff. So why wouldn't they do it with just everyday folk? Us everyday folk, damn it. What's this? Stolen somebody's holiday decorations off their lawn. So I mean, I guess that they're a thief. They're a con. Um, they just like, they, they want to come and impose on something. Like, you know what I mean? Like that's what they do. They have to be in the middle of something. Like. If, if they know something is coming for somebody or something, that they, these are the types of people where I have to intervene or I have to get a piece of this. So what can I do to, to build false trust with these people or this person? I can act like I'm successful. I can act like, you know, somebody's going to come dressed in a suit and everything. I feel like they're showing me somebody coming dressed like to the nines or something like that. And it's all, it's all to um, fool somebody or some people. Master speaker. Somebody is. They may wind up saying, hold on a second, that they were in a relationship with somebody as well, or that I don't know. It feels it feels real. Um, just fraud, DUI. Why is this here? I mean, this could just be like the kind of background this person has sacrifice putting ketamine somebody may be high on fucking k too like be careful of somebody showing up and acting like you know just pay attention and um be the observer instead of being the speaker and just watch this person it could be multiple yeah because this is something's coming full circle for these people with the world card uh, this is also public Something may be becoming public about them. Yeah. Um, God, I don't know. I feel like I, I feel like this is a camera. This is also my camera card. Is that they were going to record something? If this was a sacrifice, that the you know, and they're acting like they're from corporate, these people are actually like um part of a coven or a cult. Um, and that's what they do. They sacrifice people. They were going to attack somebody. You could have jealous friends that were going to sacrifice you. Yeah, divine feminine. You could be a Libra or a Taurus, um, but they're jealous of you. Your name could be Riley, okay? You could be, definitely be a divine feminine. You got some jealous ass fucking friends. And um, I guess let's just get some more shit, right? How many, um, okay. Inspiration. 
They don't like that you're an inspiration or that somebody is an inspiration or you want to be. Like you want to inspire people. Intent. Their intent is no good. Shit you don't have time for. Other people's shit and crazy shit and bullshit. Stupid shit. All right. So that, that's what this is. I don't know. Are you hanging with, with just stupid people? <clears throat> These people's intent for you. Uh, their intentions are horrible. Somebody you're in a relationship with could be could be behind this. That this, but you could think that this person is a soulmate. But this person, let me find out. Pay attention to the hands with the reptilians. Their hands are smaller than than normal hands. Their dialogue is different. The way that's why I'm saying, be the observers and let them speak before you say anything. Tell me about um. The spiritual union. Yeah, that's that's a no. That's gonna be a no for me, dog. Uh uh. That that's no. Tell me about this. Yeah, this I feel like this is a gang initiation or something for your for your the person that you're in a relationship with. They wanna they could even be being blackmailed or something like that by a group of toxic ass people that want to call themselves a gang. Your environment, I mean, you're letting toxic people in your environment. Look at the ice. They, they could be on ice. Barbato, it's a weapon. Somebody's armed as well. You, you could have wanted to stay, live a more natural life. Like all you had to do was say that, you know, I want to eat healthier or I want to do something different. Like wanting to change your life and then this is what sparked all this shit. But you could just be real gifted as well, Riley. You know, if your name's not Riley and you feel like this is for you, take that shit how it fits. But... So these people are homeless. You could still have a place to live, and a lot of the people you've been hanging around are losing their homes. A ritual tonight, I'm telling you, sacrifice, they were going to do this to you. So now that you know, right, it's going to be your job to separate yourself from these people that you call your friends. How many of us have them? Friends. <laughs> Ones we can depend on. Right? You can't depend on none of these motherfuckers, I don't feel like. Well, let's find out if there's at least one. All right, let me find out. Sheep, these people are all sheep. They're just following the herd. You're hanging with a bunch of followers. You could talk about sheep, like being followers and leaders, and that you could you could realize that you're destined to lead or something like that, and these people are, yeah. Is this E or L, Ella, Leah? Uh, you can trust that person? Who else? I mean, that may be it. Francesca, maybe? Huh? Hold on, hold on. No, that's it. I mean, yeah, that's it. Just her. That's the only person that's a legit friend for you. All right. So let me pause this so I can clear this and get another message for somebody. All right. Let me just clear that and get another message for somebody. There could be a Teresa Williams or a Thomas Williams that this may be about. Okay. HSG glass. Don't drink anything. Don't drink. High school girl. What's up with this? I don't know. Somebody could be in high school still. All right. Tell me about this. Uh, Cap. No, it's a Capricorn. That's the devil, though. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, you could be, but this is a, a loving, somebody has to clap as well, be careful with sleeping with somebody, because, um, I hope there's not a high school girl that has to clap, damn it, huh, this is a couple though, but th th this, these two aren't even facing each other, so this is, this, this could be a couple that was targeting a high school girl, this could be like a Dave and Teresa Williams or a Gary and Teresa Williams. Tell me, yeah, the evil. Tell me about these dingbats. These people could act like they're they're spiritual fucking people or something like that. Uh, yeah, a priest, right? 
Yeah, but they're connected to a gang or a group of friggin' these people. What's this? Bowl? Don't smoke the bowl. Don't do it. There, this could be uh, because of them being connected to this group with the priest and stuff and spiritual. This feels like graveyard dirt or something in the bowl. And this is how they facilitate uh, rituals and black magic. Like they'll do the ritual and then they'll put the, the graveyard dirt in the weed. Coffee, anything dark. This was done to me at a, uh, you know, in the beginning of this whole situation with me, like five years ago, I realized it didn't work on me. And they went crazy. Somebody actually died in the house named Tom. He lost his mind um, because he wound up taking something. He wound up drinking the coffee. I swapped the coffee because I realized it. And I made my own coffee and put the other shit back. And then he wound up losing his mind and dying. Um, they're humiliating themselves. Try and try. I feel like these two want desperately to be a part of some toxic ass group. Like, why would you even want to be a part of this shit? <laughs> You know, this, if you knew it was public, would you still want to be a part? Like, if everything that these people did behind closed doors was public for the whole world to see, would you still want to be a part of this shit? A deadbeat mother? I hope this isn't a mother that's going to sacrifice her own daughter who's in high school. Or a granddaughter or something like that. I don't know. It feels like, really? That somebody could have addictions and they're doing this? So, they got their dogs gang stalking. You have a dog somewhere? So, I don't know if these are the types of people that intentionally don't pick up their dog shit because, you know, mom of the year. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's what it feels like. Xavier? I don't know. Dying for attention. Is this your mom? This is somebody's mother. I hope, if the, is it, I don't know, is this your mom, Xavier, or your dad, or something like that? Your parents, it could be? Somebody's an earth angel. There's somebody here that's no doubt, like, an earth angel. It could be Xavier. High school girl. I hope that they're not trying to send somebody that's in high school to try to get you locked up. I'm so happy everybody's here. I mean, this could be a situation where the right people are exactly where they need to be. Smile. Is that what it is? They're trying to get you locked up. Are, are, are they fake cops or cops or posing as cops or something like that? If these aren't your parents, then this is a couple that are intentionally doing this to get you locked up. All right. You must be a great person, the chosen one, but... What is this? Killed my pet by accident with the dog thing. Did something happen to your pet? Did they sacrifice your pet or your family pet? If this is your parents or something like that? What is this? Spelled out February when writing. Okay, February. <laughs> I've, never seen, I've never seen that card before. So there, is someone illiterate? Or they're just dumb. It, it feels like whoever these these people, it could be the whole group is just fucking stupid and illiterate and didn't finish school or dropouts or academics, pff, math, pff, reading. Pff, I'm going to join a gang instead. That's what it feels like. Like, Can you tell time on a watch with hands on it? If you're if you're in the same room with with some people and this and this is a gathering, I'm telling you, maybe you're taking a stance on something. That's what it is. It's anybody who's going. What do you mean you want to learn? What do you, what do you mean you want to shower every day? That's what it is. It's like if you're not down and out and busted and disgusted and broke and fucking pockets hanging out and stinking like who knows what, then then if you're any different than us with this toxic ass group, you become a target. Hmm. Um, the gathering, they're gathering people for a ritual. So if they're luring people somewhere, be wary of somebody luring you somewhere for a ritual. One foot, side of fries, and a medium cook. Who has their foot in their mouth? Somebody could be literally like down to just go into the dollar menu because they're broke. And this is what they're trying to do for some kind of money. Like, I don't know if, if they're, this feels like another form of sacrifice, but 
having you locked up instead by having a high school girl come to you and flirt with you and shit like that. <laughs> Trash. Oh boy. All right, tell me some more. You like the sugary marshmallows at the Lucky Charms in the Lucky Charms of Life, right? So you're just good luck. If you, I don't know if this is your family even, um, you could just come from a toxic ass fucking narcissistic family that's just like, duh. Um, you are the lucky one. So I feel like these people, like everything is your fault, right? Like well, you do this and we do this and we, we, we try the best we can and you know, and, and it's like, well, hold on, I'm the fucking pot of gold here. You're the golden child. That's what it feels like. You're the golden child. If you move away from these people, and these family members, you're going to see your luck change. But th this shit here, th these, they're blocking a lot of shit for you. They're blocking a lot of your blessings because, you, you know, you're probably loyal to a fault. Mm -hmm. um, somebody, are you a cop in training or something like that? Training? Or, or this is like they could even, I don't know, somebody's training or something? Mm -hmm. Oh, are you, so there could be a situation where you're actually a police officer or you want to be a police officer and you actually want to be a legit police officer, all right? This is for some, and, and they can't have that because it goes against this group that they're connected to. Like, we can't have you be a legit officer. We want the fake ones with the fake badges. So if that's, if that's it, then that's, that's the situation is that they don't want you to be actually a good cop. Because you want to take a stance. Like, I want, I can't stand this. My community, like, this place is disgusting. A seer. You are. You could predict outcomes. Yeah, boy. Oh, don't accept anything from these people. I mean, even uh, tangible shit, like artifacts or anything. They're putting a spell on something. Don't take anything from these people. Like, I'm straight, G. All right? Like, I'm good. Thank you. Don't want any food. Don't cook me any food. I don't want your coffee. I don't want your tea. I don't need anything from you. Thank you. Like, don't don't even bring anything from them into a home of yours or anywhere where you dwell, bro. <sighs> These people are just big, big, like, nasty and demonic. And they have no choice but to do this shit because of decisions that they made in their lives, right? And they'll never say that, right? And so we'll say it for you. Your life, where you're at, is your fault. Right? And somebody else wants to do something different and you don't have the right or the say so to say whether somebody does or not. Right? Huh? I don't even care if this is your mother. I don't care if she even gave birth to you. A mother is a verb. Right? I mean, it's a verb. You mother. It's not a noun. So this isn't a mother. This is a child birther. What is this? Hmm? Remember, as far as people know, we're the perfect family. Yo, you have, right? Don't tell anybody the fucked up shit that we do. But we will, though, tell the whole world the shit that you do. No doubt, right? You're definitely a chosen one. There's no fucking doubt in my mind. And, and I just feel like you don't really want anything to do with these people. They can probably feel that. Yeah, dementia. Don't they forget, though, right? Is this like dementia? They could be, they could be putting something in your food or drink to have to fuck up your memory because you could have had some shit done to you as a child. And, like, that happened to me, too. Where they, they want you, they don't want you to remember all the fucked up shit. They could have been trying to take you out for most of your life, man. You, you, you may not have realized how many times that these people in your family have tried to kill you. And they could be even shocked. And, and I don't know if they know that you're chosen or they're finding out now. Um, and that's even going to make them more angry. They can tell there's something different about you, though. Dementia. Do you not remember all the shit that you did? When it comes to them and the mistakes they made... What are you talking about? You know what I mean? I don't feel like you ever get an apology from these people, ever. And, and they owe you apologies, bro. Um, but, but they never forget your mistakes. This is the, the classic narcissistic family with the chosen one or the golden child born into it. That's what this is. Everybody wants to be my enemy until they're in need of a friend. You're, you're too loyal to these people. And they don't appreciate your loyalty at all. They take advantage of it. Actually, it's making me angry, you know? Tell me more about this dementia, huh? Cure. You're you're the cure for a situation? Suspect. Yeah, yes, sus, huh? Yeah, dementia. They're putting something in something you're drinking. Your your own could have been putting something in your food for a while. You'd be real surprised how many mothers do this, but I'm drawn to this fucking snake coming out of here. You got a lot of snakes in your camp, right? Um that like to sabotage you and stop you and if they find out that you got a good job 
they'll, they'll, they could have gotten you fired from jobs and you don't even realize it. If you have a relationship or any kind of friendship, I feel like this mom plays like an ex-girlfriend. Like she'll, she'll actually like make them want to like not date you anymore. I feel like your mom treats you like a, like a husband. Yeah, this is, this, yo, this is necromancy. That's what this is. Don't smoke the bowl. Don't drink coffee. That's what it is. It causes like chaos, evil eye. She could be even giving you the fucking evil eye or did they just look evil in the face because of how dark they've become? Like you want to heal yourself from shit and then, and, and, you know, you doing that now um, takes the interrogation lamp off of you and on them, right? If you had to ask these, if you had a list of all the fucked up shit that these people did, I feel like it would blow your mind. But they have a list of yours. Where's my list? What are you talking about? We love you. We just want to see you do well. So then you do something good, and then they sabotage it. Uh, yeah, um, your son is not your husband, ma'am. All right? He's your fucking son. I'm telling you, they've been putting something in your drink. This is a sacrifice for you as well. It feels like there's a lot of people who are down and out because you failed, right? I mean, it's like and everybody fails, but these people handle it bad. And instead of just fixing themselves, they have to now sacrifice for some shit. You know what I mean? I don't know. They could have addictions. They're not even... That's another thing, too. You could probably have alcoholics. You could have murderers in your family as well. Uh, and drug addicts. But if, if you if you come home drunk, they're talking about it. If, if How about this? We'll just sum it up like this. All right? I feel like you see what this is. If If your name wasn't in their mouth at breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and family dysfunctions, they wouldn't have shit to say. Okay? So I'm going to pause that and clear that and get another message for somebody else. All right, we have another cop here, right? Michael. The large cock legend. All right? So, I mean, I don't know. Let's just roll with it. All right, somebody has a big dick. All right, we're just going to get into this shit right now all right tell me about this 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 cop please <laughs> yeah this could be an investigator or something but you're or you're a virgo all right you could be single right now maybe you're saving that thing for somebody special g <laughs> yeah the bureau uh, you could work for the fbi or something all around Oh, you could be a Sagittarius or uh, a Virgo or this is you're a very balanced person. Okay, tell me more about this cat. Yeah. Uh, there could be... Let me ask. This is Sagittarius. Hold on a second. I gotta ask something here. Hold on. Um... Somebody that you're friends with, or, um, I don't know if this is a relationship. Smooth criminal. Upstairs. <laughs> yeah, they're sending black magic to you. Somebody is, like, or just, like, uh, it feels like for your job, right? I, I feel like you're a cop or some kind of detective or investigator, right? And they could be sending kind of uh, attacks towards you, like psychic attacks for what? Like why? Let's find out. All right. This is par for the course, they're saying. Par for the course. So just get used to this shit, I think, is what they're saying. Because you are actually, whether you're a legit or not, I don't even feel like that matters anymore. But you're, you're a good person, right? And I think that because they can see this, they're going to start doing black magic on you. You be, Look, there are more people that do this shit, I'm realizing, than don't. Okay. This is par for the course. In a building. So, I don't know. You can, uh, Yeah. I feel like you're going to be... Uh, they, they could see that you're going to be moving away or something like that. Maybe, maybe you could be retiring as well. This isn't going to be for everybody. But somebody may not want to do this anymore. It's, you know, maybe you may not have to do this anymore or something like that. Um... Maybe you're being told to move away from this type of job because of the way that the world is getting. It's almost like, do I even want to do this shit anymore? I mean, like, I mean, does it even matter? You could be finding out how many fake 
badges there are and it's like i mean shit this is what i'm doing even required <laughs> you know what i mean like that's what it feels like to me like hold on a second yeah i feel like they can tell that you're about to leave or like this could be like retire for somebody and they're gonna start attacking you why why look enemies yeah getting bad karma you're, you're being told to stay to yourself and isolate. Maybe they're saying stay out of the building because there's going to be some bad shit happening in the building. All right, move away. Use your intuition when it comes to this shit. Don't let anybody ask you to come back. Yes, look, stay inside for now. I'm telling you, you're a target. They're, they're, it feels like... you. It, Maybe it would be better to act like a shitty person so you don't wind up getting targeted by trash, you know? They're such broken ugly when i say ugly i mean like it they're even rough to look at they're so ugly on the inside that shit is like and you you can tell by looking at somebody man it's hard to hide that ugly it really is i mean it take a lot of makeup you're gonna have to put layers and layers like cake that shit on uh stay inside stay out of the building is what they're saying what is this felons aren't supposed to have weapons right so these are your friends or you, i don't know if these are your friends but they made themselves enemies of yours. Um, large cock legend. Okay, so. <laughs> Somebody is all right there. All right, so um, oh, hold on. What is this? Or someone's last name is McAllister, if it's not Michael. Um, base chakra. You should listen to a frequency for that because that's what they're attacking. I feel like they're attacking your base chakra. You should listen to uh, in the throat. They could be attacking all of them. I'm telling you, they're sending some kind of psychic attacks to you. I don't know if you've been getting like headaches or back aches or just pain or something. You could you could be sensitive to energy and just feel so, a weird type of pain. That's negative energy. It's different than other pain when someone's constantly sending um, some type of energy towards you. What's your computer? What's up with your computer? Hold on a second. Suffering in silence. Heart chakra. I'm telling you. They attacking all of them. Right? They're, they're just, they, they want you to suffer because they're suffering. And I think they're hiding it very well that they're suffering. I don't, I feel like you can tell though. So they're projecting all of their pain and suffering onto you. So if you feel like things have been going bad for you, it's because everything that they're going through, they're sending your way. They're trying to like offset that shit to you so you need to listen to some to return to senders right there are channels that have it that don't have advertisements so you could they're everywhere these people are everywhere check i don't know what's up with someone's belt somebody could have something in their belt so i don't know are you somewhere right now where you're arresting people check someone's belt the inside it could be a weapon or a needle or drugs or something like that all right um so wait what was i just gonna say hurt these are hurt people and and uh they want to see you hurt all right tell me more what is this you've got more passion than a romance novel with a, a shirtless guy on a horse is somebody not wearing a shirt in the dead of winter but, but the shirtless guy on the horse, that, that's like sexy. You must be handsome. So you handsome with a big dick. Let's just keep it a stack. Um, What is this? If you were a cop, I'd let you frisk me. I'm telling you. Somebody's so, they're very good looking. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like this is, it feels like the epitome of the cop when you see him on the calendar. Like those cops, right? Like the fireman calendar. This is this cat, man. Right? And, and. I don't know if you're with somebody, but be careful. They could be trying to set you up with somebody that's even going to wind up sacrificing you. A the system. So you're very much aware of what's going on with the assisted justice system and everything like that. I feel like you're aware of all this stuff. So um, I don't really think you want to be a cop anymore. Or, or you're going to wind up second guessing this. Um, what is this? Don Juan, but this is, you could have been this. 
I mean, you could have been a player, right? Maybe, I feel like you don't want to be, I don't want to be a player no more. I really feel like you don't. And, and they could, there could be people that were used to you being like this. And it's almost like they thrived off of you being like this. Are they sending a player to you? I feel like they're going to try and send somebody to smooze you, buddy. Wrong. I don't know. Did somebody say something cocky? Wrong. Tell me about this Donna Wanna. I don't know. If you're gay, it could be a dude. I don't know. Um, yeah, this is... What is it? This is... Is this somebody that works? This could be somebody that works for a government as well. But there's a Leo somewhere. I don't know if this is the Leo. They're going to send somebody... Um, possibly to say that they're, they're, they're rich. This feels like life insurance. Are you in a relationship? Hold on. Tell me. Are you in a relationship with someone named Sonia or Sophie or so Sophie? Or if it's a male, I don't know. It's gonna there this may be for multiple people every multiple places. So if, if it's a man, it could be Oscar. Alright. But um hold on a second. Peters, Sophie, Sonia. What's up with this person? What's up with this person? This, I feel like it's a broad. Uh, just, uh, yeah, this is a narcissist. Somebody could have said, he's mine. Somebody going, wrong. Wrong. It, yeah, I don't know. Who is this broad? Removal. When they put removal on there, that is organ removal. Okay, so be careful of who you're dating. Yeah. You may be chosen as well. It feels like there's an attack. Um, there's somebody I said that has a list of people and their blood type. And they're attacking everybody like that. So these are people who have no other options in life. They're felons. They can't get jobs. They have no choice but to do this shit. I mean, they have a choice. You know, but they don't want to. They don't want to go through the struggle. They want to skip this shit. So they may wind up skipping the rest of their life and going right to death, fucking with you, though, bro. Change your password. They're trying to hack your shit as well. I don't know if you have an Android phone. Somebody could have cloned your phone, or they're counting keys and they they can tell your password. I wouldn't do it in front of these people. I would get an iPhone if you don't have one. Yeah, I would definitely invest in that shit. With the laptop or the computer, did some did somebody have your laptop? Did somebody steal your computer? Hold on a second. True. True. Huh? Um, this much is true. Hold on a second. Somebody steal your laptop? Is it this person? It's the person that you're dating or this broad? Yeah, I, I would take, give me my fucking laptop, bitch. All right? I wouldn't ask nicely. That's the person that has it. Cigarette. Don't smoke the cigarette. Uh, that could be laced with something or dipped in something. Yeah. This chick is a lying sack of shit. All right? She could be lying about a pregnancy as well. So dark. Look, I'm telling you. This this is being done for you, not to you. All right, tell me about what she's lying about. Honestly, I feel like yeah, this chick. That's all that comes out of the mouth is lies. That's it. She could be lying and saying that like she was hurt or I had this happen to me when I was a child. Somebody could also have lied and said that they were assaulted sexually. We'll just say, huh? Marble. I don't know what that's about. Marble. Is that somebody's name? I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, this is organs. This this is <laughs> a heart. Somebody 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 could lie and say that like they're having heart problems or something like that. Somebody may actually need a fucking heart and they were gonna take yours. Luna. Um is that what this is? Hold on a second. Hold on. She needs it. There's a group that she's connected to and somebody needs a heart and they were going to take yours. I hope somebody didn't walk in with a heart, damn it. I wouldn't be surprised. Is this even a female? Uh, I got to ask. Is this somebody that he's been seeing? All right. 
I feel like this is a male. And this is why you were targeted. I hope that this is intervention before anything happens because a lot of times these males will have A's as well. So I hope that this, this shit came out way before some, it usually does though. If it comes out like this on this table, it's because this is your ancestors jumping in the middle of some shit and going, not this one. You're not doing it too. This one's different. This one is special. You're special as well. Hold on a second. I don't feel like you realize these people are your enemies. Um, but they are. I want to get, um, which one I want to get? One of these and just, I'm just going to close it out because I feel like you heard enough, bro. Right? Like, just stay away from them and stay out of the building is what they're saying. Some heavy shit is going to start going down in the building. Um, like this. If you're a cop, because it feels like you are, right? They may call you for different things, right? Like, yo, this is going on. They may, they're going to make it seem like they're, they want you there because you're a cop and they need you there. But it's really to get you there for another reason. So pay attention. Just let somebody else... Let somebody else show up for a little bit. Yeah, look at the fucking moon. You could be a Pisces, but this is moon magic as well. Very secretive, dark people. Quit dimming your light for people with shitty-ass mindsets. You, you don't think the same. You're different. You're definitely different. You're, you're, you're a special person. Like, I can feel this shit, and, and they can see it, too. Tell me about this quit dimming your light for people with shitty ass. Look, because you're a happy person. Like, you're destined for greatness and success. You could definitely be a Leo... Um, but this is like, you're just happy, like very childlike, like, uh, demeanor, but not childish. This is you focusing on what, what are you focusing on? But this is also like, uh, there, there's somebody here though. If you're not a Leo, there's somebody here that only cares about sex. All right. And I don't know. This could have been you or this is you maybe. And maybe they're asking you to move away from this um, deceit. Yeah. Move away from just getting into relationships for sexual reasons. <clears throat> yeah. Because it's going to wind up ending your life. These people could also be waiting for you to leave somewhere. Yeah. I'm telling you it's for a gang. But you'll find happiness. Like, you're destined to have, like, possibly a wife and a kid and everything like that. But this is just happiness overall. But if you keep focusing on just sex and stuff like that, I feel like it, you're never going to find that shit. Hi. Somebody could be saying hi. Yeah, this is commitment, like a marriage. Yeah, this is what your ancestors want for you. But you're going to go through like some a dark night of the soul, like a dark period. You're very psychic. You're, you're, uh, I don't know. This is definitely government work. So if you're not a cop, then you could be a detective or investigator, but something working with the government. But, um, you, I feel like, don't you want like a commitment or somebody could even, hold on a second. This person could have wanted to marry you. You know, I've been I've been picking up that there have been men that have been putting fake bellies on to act like they're friggin' pregnant and shit like that, uh, because they had to up their game because your girl here keeps exposing that they have wigs on and they have whole dukes, so they started up in their game and shit and wearing like fake. I don't know if you could buy those things from somewhere, but or just creating fake pregnancies now. Like it feels the mental illness is real. <laughs> okay, I need. Mean, the cuckoo it is real. Tell me, hmm, had a nickname for my special parts. I do. I feel like you, you need to stop focusing on um, uh, just sex and think about what someone can bring to you on a whole. Like, I want somebody that's going to stand by my side regardless of whatever we're going through. Like, fuck, you know, sex is always a bonus, right? I want somebody that's going to help me grow. I want somebody who's going to be loyal to me. I want somebody who I, it's like a partnership as opposed to just, um, fucking, right? Th this could be something that you need to work on. And what is this? Have more than one speeding ticket in one day. 
I mean, I, speeding. Somebody could be on speed as well. Face off. Somebody's mask came off. I don't know. You may be real pissed to fuck off when you find out this motherfucker a whole dude. You know what I mean? Um, if this isn't, if they're not there yet, then they could be coming towards you like currently homeless. These are a bunch of people that are homeless. They could possibly want you homeless. For, for somebody, they could even be trying to take a home of yours because they don't have a home. Yes, yeah, secret. Venus, that's love. You want actual love in your life. Uh, not just sex. Then these people can't offer you that. Or this person. They can offer you that. Or even even if they they um send you females, it, it's if you're not meeting them legit because of you, look look at that. There's nobody like you, bro. I'm telling you, you're special. <laughs> Didn't I say you're special? You your self worth. You need to get that in check because you're a very valuable person. All right, and whoever these people are that you've been dating or seeing and stuff, they 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 see that. You but you need to see this. You know what I mean. Um, hold on a second. What is this? Movie or book deal? Mm, uh, you you could there could be a Taurus or a Pisces that you secretly like. I don't know. It, there could be it, it for you could even want to change. I mean, there's a possibility that you you this already happened and you're already facilitating. Like, I don't want meaningless relationships like that. That could already have happened, and this is why they want to destroy you. You know what I mean? You could. Like, I don't know if for somebody here because this this could be for multiple people. Somebody here also wants to end a marriage secretly. They're not saying that. Because they want something different. They want something like in particular. Like it doesn't have to be a, a specific person. But they want something different than what they've had. I don't, I'm telling you. They keep saying I don't want to be a player no more. Right? I'm not a player. I just crushed a lot. Right? Yeah, students. So you're learning a lot about this stuff. Right? You're allowing yourself to be the student instead of being a know-it-all. And I feel like you're a good problem solver, man. You're smart. What are these people? Who are these people you're hanging out with? You're smart. You're handsome. You got a big dick. You know what I mean? You you stand for shit. Your desk should be classified as a national treasure. It's dusty enough to be anyway. I don't feel like this is a desk that we're talking about, though. This could be. I don't know if this is somebody that you're dealing with or a chick that you're dealing with that's like dusty. She could have like dusty. I don't know. Because I don't feel like it's a desk. All right, but this is national treasure. Don't cry. Don't cry. I don't know. Is somebody crying? Does anybody ever tell you the kind of person that you are? I don't feel like people do. Work smarter, not harder. You could just be a very hard worker. A male. I, uh, well, that's why it's dusty and crusty. Somebody could be saying they're celibate. That doesn't mean you put it in the S. Okay? That means it goes nowhere. Nowhere. Was taken and replaced. Chaos in jail. So somebody that was locked up. You could have locked somebody up and they're pissed off. And they're doing chaos magic. And they're sending people to attack you because you locked somebody up. Look, kill. Tell him, somebody has something in the bureau. Look in the drawers of the bureau. It could be a weapon, it could be a needle, but there's something there that they were going they were going to do this to you. And and if you get away from this, right? They're going to try and find a way to bring you back to the situation, which is why they said isolate and stay to yourself and stay inside for now. It, it could be there's multiple police officers that you guys are different. You're different and they see this and so they're going to want to sacrifice you. Let somebody else show up for something. Just just pass. You know what I mean? Like I know that's not really what you guys are supposed to do, but this is going to, it's because your lives are going to be on the line for this shit. All right. I don't want, we're not going nowhere. Love you. Philly out. Bye.